everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified Server. Whoa. Okay, so I guess somebody took my tunnel and continued it on. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember which way it is. Oh, wait, no, this was me that did that, wasn't it? Yeah, because that way went down to the wrong spot. I think we have to go here. I'm going to put a torch right there just to mark it off. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to make my way back to the Hermit Village. Uh, last time we did a little bit of exploring. We made this huge long tunnel trying to find a uh, ocean monument. So yeah, we found the ocean monument, which is awesome. I haven't actually got a chance to play on the server since then. So yeah, we're trying to catch back up. So yeah, we found an ocean monument. What we need to do is actually take that ocean monument down. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need like uh, water breathing potions and... Oh, I don't know, regeneration and night vision, things like this. So pretty much what we're going to do now, we're going to head back to the Hermit Hills area. Yeah, I got some stuff down here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to head back to the Hermit Hills area. Uh, we're going to start brewing up some potions. I assume there's some brewing stands around. I think I might have made one a while ago. I can't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, this tunnel is pretty long, isn't it, huh? We should probably think about heading over to the Ice Spikes biome with some Silk Touch and collecting some of that so we can at least sprint jump down this path. Man. Uh, yeah, so we need to get the potions going. That's definitely, like, the big thing. Uh, I collected a little bit of sand. We got half a stack here so I can make water bottles and things like this. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and get some stuff together here. Yeah, we are going the right way. I remember, I remember this. Kind of weird how there's... A cave this high up in the nether rack ceiling. What are we at? We're at like Y111. Yeah. Oops. Screenshot. Yeah. So let me go ahead and uh, get back to the Hermit Hills, start brewing up some things, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys. So here we are back at the Hermit Hills. And I didn't show you guys this yet, but I am, uh, in fact, wearing a Santa costume. <laughs> so yeah, some of you tweeted at me on Twitter, uh, Santa skin. It looks kind of weird. I'm not used to my head not having a black bar right above my eyes. But anyway, yeah, I'm missing my bandana. Uh, so yeah, it is kind of weird <laughs> me being in a different skin. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, let's see the back of it. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So thank you, whoever it was that sent this to me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, so let's put our gear back on. Um, I was just coming over to my base over here, and I saw that there was a present here. It says, Happy Birthday to Me. From Mumbo to Top Mass. Now, I thought that was kind of weird. I was like, why would he put it to Top Mass from here? Uh, Top Mass's bridge is right over that way, and then his area is back behind mine. But, yeah, I just remembered the other day when I was coming over here, I saw that Top Mass changed my sign here that said, like, Hypno's Awesome Bridge of Awesomeness to topmass.net. <laughs> so I guess Mumbo must have been confused, or I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I was up there looking around. I saw that there is actually... Another present down here that Mumbo left for me. So that was nice of him. Thank you, Mumbo. I don't know why you left me a present for your birthday, but we will go with it. That's cool. So let's check it out. I'm not sure what's in this thing. Unwrapping gifts is always fun. He left a cake. Oh, and there's a chest there too. A diamond? Wow. Mumbo, you're the best. Thanks, bud. <laughs> That's so cool. Ah. So, I guess the tradition is now, when it's your birthday, you have to give other people diamonds. That makes sense to me. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it, but <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'll clean up the rest of this in a little bit. Did I have brew stands? I could have sworn I went to the nether and collected blaze rods. I don't remember if I made a brew stand. What did we collect blaze rods for? Maybe we didn't do anything with them. Okay, so blaze rods, we're going to need... Uh, some cobblestone, which we have a decent amount of. Crafting table right there. So we will make ourselves a brewing stand. Great. And I'll finally get a chance to use these furnaces. So we'll just stick eight in each one of those. I'm going to need some coal. Did I miss a furnace here? No, all three on the bottom and that one. Yeah, let's get some coal. We'll get that smelting up to make some glass. I'll make some glass bottles. Yeah, we'll get this going here pretty quick. Um... Oh, I have coal on me. What am I doing? Derp. Yeah, I always keep a little bit of coal and some logs on me for making torches. I always forget that I have it, though. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me go ahead and get this stuff going here. We're going to need to get materials for uh, the night vision potions, which is carrots and gold, which we got plenty of. Oh, you know what? We need puffer fish. 
puffer fish for making the potions of water breathing. Hmm. Do we have a place to fish around here? It kind of felt like... Well, we got that water that's coming down here. Was there... Well, I know there's the big water right over here. But I thought there was like maybe a lake up here. Maybe there isn't. Okay, well, I'm going to make myself a fishing rod. And I think I'm just going to go... Uh, try my luck, see what we can do. Yeah, we can... Oh, I don't have string on me. Yeah, okay. So let me go and make a fishing rod. I might put an enchant on there or something. I'm going to try and get some fish going. Hopefully, it won't take too long before we get a puffer fish. But yeah, guys, let me get that done, and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, guys. So since that last clip, I went over to the gold farm, and I kind of AFK'd there until I was up over 100 levels. And I enchanted two fishing rods. Both of them got luck of the C2 on them. One got on breaking three, the other one got lure three. Anyway, I combined them both into this particular fishing rod. And this doesn't look too bad. I mean, I could have luck of the sea three, but I'm not complaining. So I think we're going to be fairly good. So I want to check. The, whoop, <laughs> don't hold right click. Yeah, I want to check this out. So right away, as soon as I put the fishing rod in there, there's particles that just came right to it. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a little bit slower for the second time around. Yeah, I was just kind of curious. How this rod was actually going to work. There it is. Oh, uh, I don't know if that was lag or if I reeled that in at the wrong time. It looked like that should have been the right time and I should have gotten something. Hmm, I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of squid down here <laughs> as well. Right click. Did I click both those fish I have? Okay, so yeah, we need to do this until we eventually get puffer fish. Now, I've tried this before uh, in my single player. And I don't remember it taking too long before I got a puffer. Yeah, there we got a salmon. So, hmm. <laughs> all right. Well, I tell you guys what. I know this is exceptionally interesting. You all are really excited to watch me fish. But we got to cut the fun off a little bit here. Uh, so I'm going to do some of this off camera. I'm going to have a whole bunch of fun. And then I'll... Whoop, uh, yeah, <laughs> I right-clicked at the wrong time. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of fun. Uh, try and get a puffer fish or two. We'll get ourselves a water-breathing potion. And... I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Oh, actually, I was just about to cut cut it off, but there it is. Got a puffer fish. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, guys. So one of the things that I've been struggling with ever since we came up to this base here is how to get up and down. So I saw that Azuma has changed the nether a little bit. We have like a nether hub kind of a deal going on now. So I figured we should bring our base up to speed. So I just set up a portal here. I'll figure out a permanent location for it. I actually marked down the coordinates for the overworld <clears throat> about right here in the center area. So we might put that portal like... I don't know, in here a little bit or over there. Either way, it should all link up to about right the spot. Anyway, so let's go through this portal. I don't know if this actually links up. It should connect to some portal in the nether anyway. Okay, so connected to this red one. So let's take a quick tour of the nether hub as it stands right now. So this is the main Hermit Hills portal. And then this is the ladder that goes all the way up into the nether ceiling. So it looks quite a bit different now. This is actually like the second time I've seen it. Uh, I looked at it earlier today, but so we have lots of walls and things like that. Big, tall corridors. I know Azuma has asked people, um, I think in his last or one of his last videos for design ideas. Um, yeah, so he just has cobblestone. It's kind of filler just to keep mobs out. I assume this is slabs down here. It kind of looks like, yeah. So yeah, these are all slabs down here so gas can't spawn. So we need to find the coordinates uh, to where our portal is going to be. And I don't have stairs to make it look all fancy like these other ones. And are these... Yeah, these are just the standard portal size, right? Three tall. No, those are... Is that the normal portal size? I can't tell. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so that's the normal portal size. We just have the bottom obsidian blocks there. So where we need to put our portal is 153.76. So we're going to be down this way and over here. 153 and 76. So we need to go down there a little bit. 
Well, I don't know if we're going to make our thing all fancy like this. I don't have a lot of time to hollow out an area. But I do want to get my portal in here. Hmm. Okay. So 153. Set, oh. 153. Yeah, 76. So we do have to go in the wall a little bit. And... <laughs> That's going to be out in the middle of nowhere. All right, well, let's just find out where that's going to be. I'll use some nether rack or something to jump around. Uh, can I place blocks down there? I guess not. Hey, piggy. Okay, 153. 76 is going to be about... Right over here. Okay, so this is about where my nether portal is going to be. Um, yeah, so how is that going to work with all that cobblestone in there? I don't know. But I'm going to set up my portal here anyway. Is this at the right level? Yeah, I think this would be... Well, okay. I need to figure it out. <laughs> because I probably will come back here. I didn't know this was a complete hollow shell. It never broke through the walls. So the portal is on the block that's one at this level here, which should be right like that. So yeah, that should be fine. Whoop, I'm down here now. Yeah, if I put my portal on top of that platform, that should be the right height. So let's go ahead and do that. So 153.76, we want this to be the inside of the portal block. So do that, 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 that. So that's four, one, two, three. We'll do four on the top. Then I'll just jump down and bring this up. All right, so that should be my portal. Let's make a little bridge thingy. And yeah, like I said, I'll come back off camera here and I'll probably make it the same as the other portals in that room. But for now, let's check it out, see if it links up. Hopefully we don't connect to somebody else's portal. Aha! So that works, great. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Now we gotta try the other way. Yeah, I get a little bit lag when I go through the nether portals. I don't know what the deal with that is. Like my connection to the server isn't the greatest apparently. Did I not, yeah, I guess the server just rubber banded me back in there. So now let's go into the portal. Baby? Oh man, are we not gonna be able to go through? What is going on? Now we're through. Weird. All right, well, <laughs> this stupid thing. Ah, I can't get out. I'm stuck in the nether portal. All right, well, we did connect to the right one, and we're back. Oh my goodness. Okay, so enough nether portaling. We know they link up. I'm gonna have to go back there and fix it so it is in the correct spot. Um, this rubber banding is very frustrating. If you can't tell. Um, so yeah, I was able to brew up a bunch of water breathing potions and I did some night, oh my goodness, and so I did some night vision potions. Um, oh my gosh! Really? Really? Come on, let me out of the stupid portal! Oh wow, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to put this stupid thing out. If it does it one more time, you know, you're not going to do it? That's what I thought, punk. <laughs> anyway, so I was going to make some regeneration potions, but we don't have any gas tears. So, huh. Um, I went around and I found some nether wart. Uh, there was some in Azuma's area still growing, so I broke that, replanted, and harvested the full things. Um, so we have some nether wart. So I think what I want to do is I do want to go to the nether, see if I can find a ghast. I want to try and get some kind of regeneration potions going on. So yeah, that's the next step. I'm going to go to the nether, see if I can get some gas to spawn and collect some gas tears. All right. So let me get on that and I'll see you guys shortly. All right. I hear the gas somewhere, but I don't. There it is. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna shoot the gas and switch over to my looting three sword. Hopefully, we'll get multiple gas tier drops. But yeah, we want uh, we want regeneration. We need those gas tiers. All right, he looks like he's in a safe spot. 
And what did you drop? Did you drop anything? Some extra gunpowder. What? No gas tears. Are they down there? They might be down there. Wait, what's this cobblestone structure? I'm not sure what that is. Looks like somebody's getting some glowstone. Well, let's jump down. No, no gas tears. Dang, guy. I've been sitting here uh, AFK for a little bit, waiting for some gas to spawn. That's the second one I've seen. I heard one before, but I think it spawned far away, and it kind of despawned. I stopped hearing it. All right, well, I guess the quest continues. <laughs> we got some gunpowder if we want to make splash potions. But yeah, we need the regeneration potion. So I'm going to wait for another gas, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Aha! Found another one! Let's see if we can get it this time. Hopefully we can. That'd be pretty awesome. And yes, we got some gas tears. How many did we get? We got four of them! Awesome! Whoa. Okay, that must have been a delayed explosion from that gas ball that shot. But yeah, guys, we got four gas tears. Alright, so now we can make our regeneration potions. And we should be able to own that guardian temple. Or I guess that's an ocean monument, isn't it? Uh, so let me go ahead and get some brewing done, and I'll meet you guys over there at the Ocean Monument. Alright guys, so we're back here at the Ocean Monument. I have a two-minute, well I have three two-minute regeneration potions, three eight-minute night vision, and three eight-minute water breathing. So I was doing some mapping out of the world, uh, where we're at right here and what's around us. Uh, there is a desert, as I suspected, if we just kind of cruise around over this direction, there's a desert that actually meets up with this ocean. So that's easy sand gathering. That's where we're going to collect our sand. And in fact, if we go around the other direction over here, it's a little bit further, but there is another desert that direction too. Um, yeah, so like I said, we'll be collecting our sand from this desert on this side eventually. I think it's time to get over there to the monument. So probably to make things a little bit faster, let's go ahead and make ourselves a boat. We'll boat out there real quick, jump out, take our potions, things like that. Um, don't need the planks on me. Alright, so yeah, we'll just get down here real quick. I haven't explored this at all. I haven't been out there. Um, I have explored an ocean monument previously. I don't know how they're laid out. Like, if they're all the same, if they're slightly different... I've heard that you can have multiple sponge rooms in one, and maybe only one sponge room in another. Let's go ahead and start getting our potions going here. So, why do I have a water bottle? Oh, I must have hit the ocean after I was done drinking it. Okay, so water breathing. All right, so we'll save the regeneration until we need it. Um, where's the front of this thing? Looks like it's over here. Hopefully those guardians... I don't know if they... Can they attack you while you're in the boat? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work with the lag that I'm currently having. There's a lot of these guys here, so they might just own me real quick. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll break their beams, and we'll just get in here. Awesome, we're in. And there we go. There's our uh, weakness, or slowness, or whatever it is, so we can't break blocks and stuff. But we can see we do have water breathing. Uh, Tinko Tech was just on, but apparently he's not anymore. Aha, uh -huh, so right here... Oh no, this is not. I thought this was like the main area. Whoa, hey. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I've explored these before, but they're kind of confusing. Um, Maybe we should just not go up a level. We should just kind of cruise at this. Oh, we can't. Okay, so I was going to say we should just kind of hang out on this first level here where the entrance is. But we can't do that. So there's only one way up, and it's over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of getting in a maze already. So this is the only way to proceed forward. So let's come up here. Alright, so we got... Whoa, hey. Yeah, we want to find where the bosses are, and I'm not <laughs> entirely sure where those guys are. I think that must be different in each one of these monuments that you come to. What about this way? There's a sponge room. So that's awesome. There's at least a sponge room in here. 
Uh, but like I said, what we're trying to figure out is where the bosses are. There's three of them. We want to find those guys, take them down, so we no longer have these debuffs on us. Is that him right there? Oh, no, there's the... Okay, so there's the boss right there. So let's get him over here. Well, actually, he's not really a boss, but he's the guy that we got to get rid of. I believe he does drop a sponge. He does. Hey, get off me. Take care of this guy, too. Yeah, so there is two more of those guys somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to navigate around these things really is confusing, though, especially since it's all full of water. Um, all right, so... Yeah, that's not a way up. It's weird. Is it because I'm getting too close to these things? Yeah, that's kind of like making my vision a little, little foggy or whatever, cloudy. Uh, so how long do we have on our potions? We still got like five more minutes on them. So let's just keep going. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> I don't think we've been zapped yet. Uh, I think these guys do like two and two hearts damage. I believe if you attack them, they stop firing at you. I'm not exactly sure how, how all of that works. Okay, so we're kind of on this main level here. We've been all the way around. We did get the one main enemy here. But I don't know where the other two are. There are three in each one of these, so... I think we're going to have to make our way out of here and try and figure out where to go. Come on. Oh, there's another guy right there. Okay, I don't know how we found him, but we did. Uh, so let's break his beam so he can't get at us. And got him. Okay, <laughs> very good. So we're up to two sponges now. Hmm, where is the third guy? I don't know. Don't fire at me. Uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of cruise around here. You, we can see this isn't like super difficult to do. I'm just going to cruise around a little bit, see if I can find the third guy, let our debuffs wear off, and then... I think the next step is to... Whoa, wait. Yeah, I think the next step is to try and get all the water out of this um, monument. So, let me go ahead and start working on this a little bit, guys. And I'll see you when we find the third guy. Alright, guys. Well, I had to take uh, another set of potions. I was unable to find the uh, third boss until just a moment to go. He is right above us. So, yeah, he's right up there. Yeah, this is the guy that's at the very top of the tower. We just need to take him down, and we should have this temple cleared. Awesome. So yeah, this uh, monument is now completely uh, <laughs> available for us to take. I couldn't think of any words there. Yeah, we can now take this temple down. We won't have the uh, mining fatigue, which prevents us from mining blocks and things like that. We just gotta wait for that to go away. Uh, the next step, is to uh, set up a perimeter around this thing. Well, I say perimeter, but we really need to just put sand everywhere and remove all the water around it. We need to remove the water from inside of this thing. I need to come back through this temple and clear out the sponge room. We do want all the sponges. That's gonna help us a lot for getting rid of the water, especially in this temple, but it'll also help us for getting rid of it around the entire area. So that is going to be the next thing we need to do is go clear out the sponge room and things like that. Um, yeah, I think we might be reaching the end of today's episode, guys. There isn't a whole lot that I'm going to be able to do today uh, before this episode goes live. So, yeah, let's go ahead and end it here. Uh, it was pretty fun coming through these monuments, fighting these fish, collecting the potions, things like that. Ah, good times, good times. Uh, we definitely need to collect a whole heck of a lot of sand, though, uh, to remove the water and help us section off areas and all of that good stuff. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time.